So yeah, my library haul. So the first book that I got is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, and it's by Mark Haddon. And yeah, um, and I wanted to get this one and read it for a while. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, and I've seen some of my friends on Goodreads have read it already and really enjoyed it. So I wanted to look at this one and see if I could get into it or not. It's about a boy who is autistic, and it's his sort of investigation into what happened to his neighbor's dog, Wellington, I believe the dog's name is, um, which is a great dog name, by the way. And I think that it'll be, I'm hoping that it'll be um, a good read for me. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the, the situation with what happened to the dog because I read the inside flap and... I'm a really big dog lover, and the thought of this horrible thing happening to this dog, I don't know <laughs> if I can deal with it or not. Um, the second one I got is The White Queen by Philippa Gregory, and this is the first book in a series that I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, I already bought the second book in the series, The Red Queen, but I needed to obviously read The White Queen before I read The Red Queen, and they had it at the library while I was there, so I went ahead and picked it up. And this is sort of a different genre for me. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or be able to sort of get into it or not, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. And then I went to the young adult section because I was looking for this book, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And this is, as you probably all know, want the first book in a series as well. And I've seen a lot of people really enjoy this one um, too. And I'm hoping that I can get into it and that it'll sort of keep a good pace so that it keeps me interested. It seems that a book has to have a good steady pace for me to keep reading it. I've tried to read a couple of books um, this past week and I actually got like more than halfway through them. And then ended up just deciding I just didn't care. I didn't care what happened. I didn't, I didn't want to read. I was like, ugh, so depressing. Um, so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen with these books. So I'm looking forward to this one as well. And then I saw on the shelf, they had like a bookcase of the most recent books, I guess, that they purchased for that um, genre. And it reminded me of a book that I've seen a lot of people talk about that I wanted to try, and that is Of Poseidon. So they have all the books in the series as well. So I wanted to try this one out and see if I could get into this or not. I've seen mixed reviews on this one, so I'm hoping, we'll see, I don't know if it'll work out or not. And then as I was leaving, I happened to glance over and see this book, which is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. And the only thing I know about this book is it's about a girl who's born with wings, hence the feather on the front. So that, I think, is going to be interesting. We'll see. I don't know how that's going to go, but I've seen a lot of people say that they've read it and that they've really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that I will, too. So those are the books that I picked up um, at the library today. I'm not sure I'll get them all finished before they need to go back, but I'm hoping. So... Leave me a comment and let me know what you're reading and um, whether or not you've been using your library lately. I have really been using my library a lot lately, even though I have all these books in the shelf behind me that I need to read. I don't know what it is about library books lately. I'm not sure, but I'm excited. So leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up if you like these videos, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!